this is Dariana reporting for Kids First, and today I'll be doing a review for the new movie, Won't You Be My Neighbor? Won't You Be My Neighbor is a documentary about Mr. Rogers and his TV show for young children called Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood talks about how it's important to talk to kids about every aspect of life, and, and Won't You Be My Neighbor really emphasizes those points and also talks about the positive impact TV has on kids. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood also had very catchy songs at the end of every one of his episodes that taught kids in a simple way, even at the preschool level. For me, because I usually don't like documentaries because they're very slow paced, but Won't You Be My Neighbor had so many funny jokes and like sweet moments. Like one of my favorite scenes was when Mr. Rogers went to Congress to pitch the idea to get funding for P to keep PBS open. And it was so sweet and it, almost, it made me tear up because Won't You Be My Neighbor really shows how sweet of a person Mr. Rogers really is. People would always ask, is that how he really is in person? Because on the show, he's so sweet and so amazing, but he actually is like that in real life. He talks about such sweet things, about his love for children and about how this show really teaches kids. And it really does. From like I've never seen Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood prior to this movie, but I learned so much about it. And it really did teach children in such an amazing way. And Congress did give the funding for PBS. And his speech just made me so, my heart was like there for him. And it's one of the many sweet moments in Won't You Be My Neighbor that are expressed. Like, I really think this film gives something to everybody, because if you're an adult and you grew up with Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, you're like, oh my gosh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, I love that show as a kid. And you get back those happy childhood memories that you had with him and with your family even. And maybe then you want to show your kids Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and maybe they too will learn about Mr. Rogers again. And kids who go watch this documentary will learn about Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood for the first time, just like me and they'll want to go and watch it on YouTube. Like, I really want to. This is such an amazing show. I mean, I'm really not at the age for Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood anymore, but watching it is just so amazing because it's so sweet and you see how it really relates to things now. It's not just for how it happened in the 60s. It's really for even now in 2018. I recommend this film for ages 12 to 18 because it is a documentary, so it has a lot more facts. And it does talk about the serious topics like like wars and divorce and like there isn't there's stuff about 9-11 too. I give this film a 4.5 out of five stars because it was so amazing and adds so much love in the whole entire film. And it really brings back memories for adults and gives new memories to children. You can find this film in a theater near you on June 8th. This was Dariana reporting for Kids First. Bye, thanks for watching. Won't you be my neighbor?